Do you ever look at your TikTok account just to see that you haven't gotten the views that you want on your last post, or maybe you're not getting the followers that you want, and you're putting in so much effort on TikTok? Well, if that's the case, you're in the right place because by the end of this video, you're gonna know four secrets that small accounts just like yours are using to blow up on TikTok right now. I'm talking about the best time to post, the best hashtags to use, what length you should be creating your content, and what kind of content you should be creating, and one other secret that's gonna skyrocket the amount of followers that you're getting for every thousand views that you get on TikTok. In fact, this creator, literally just implemented these tips and was able to gain over 200,000 followers. And this creator was able to do the same thing except they gain over 300,000 followers. And both of them are in incredibly crowded niches. So it doesn't matter what niche you're in or anything like that. These tips are gonna help you grow quicker on TikTok. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you're actually posting at the right time on TikTok because I've seen this time and time again. I've seen creators repost the same piece of content, the same exact thing, same description, same hashtags, literally the same exact video, but post it at one time slot and get a certain amount of views, post it at a different time slot and get a different amount of views so the time that you post on TikTok actually really matters. And there are three best times to be posting right now. The first one is from 10 a.m. to 11.45 a.m. The second is from 2.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Third is from 7.15 to 10 p.m. Now you do need to remember something. These time slots are going to change based off of the type of content you create and the niche that you're actually posting in. So if you're brand new to TikTok, I strongly suggest that you begin posting at those time slots and over a few weeks, you're gonna be able to figure out which one works best. But if you have a lot of posts that have already done well before in the last 28 days, what I want you to do is I want you to go through on those posts, see what time they were posted, and then what you can do is see which one of those time slots they over index in and that's when you should be getting out the majority of your content. But we can't stop there because you also need to make sure that you're using the right hashtags on TikTok. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna go here on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free TikTok growth course. You could get it at the pinned comment below. It's gonna teach you several different editing hacks and exactly how the TikTok algorithm works so that you can skyrocket your views. What are you waiting for? It's literally 100% free. Just go to the pinned comment below and register right now. Now, the four hashtag strategies that you need to make sure that you're implementing are one, three niche specific hashtags, two, three to four hashtags, but it should include both niche specific and broad. The third is going to be five to six hashtags, and then finally, seven to eight hashtags. Now, in those ones that were three to four, five to six, and seven to eight, you need to make sure that 75% of those hashtags are niche specific and 25% of them are broad. If you don't know what a broad hashtag is, a niche specific hashtag, or a trending hashtag, which TikTok just brought back, let me explain. Broad of hashtags are gonna be things like hashtag FYP, hashtag viral, hashtag trending. They're gonna increase the amount of reach that you get on your videos because they're gonna expose your videos to people that weren't actually interested in that piece of content, which can expand the amount of people that are actually interested in the content that you make. Those niche specific hashtags are gonna be whatever hashtags come up when you do a search for whatever your piece of content is about. And ideally, you wanna be choosing the largest hashtags possible. And then trending hashtags are gonna be what show up if you go to the discover page right now on TikTok. But I will warn you, I would never use trending hashtags unless you're actually participating in that trend or doing a post about that topic. Because if not, it might actually hurt you and it could get TikTok to show your content to the wrong audience, which is gonna lead to a decrease in views and it's gonna lead to TikTok not pushing out your content. That would be a huge mistake right now. But there are a few other mistakes I wanna make sure that you're not making when it comes to your hashtags. The first is that you're not putting hashtags anywhere except for the end of your description. That is the only place that your hashtags should be going. They shouldn't be going throughout the description where you just hashtag a random word. They shouldn't be going before your description. They shouldn't be going in the comment section. And I keep getting emails about this. Please, please, please do not put hidden keywords throughout your TikTok video. This is gonna destroy the amount of reach that you're getting because TikTok knows what you're trying to do. You're trying to manipulate it and load it up with a bunch of different keywords. And guess what you end up doing? You end up decreasing the amount of reach that you're getting. And by the way, if you're getting a notification on your post on TikTok that says that you're not eligible to show on the For You page, it's probably one of two reasons. Either one, you have a watermark within your content, or two, you might have exported your piece of content so many different times that it lowered the quality of it. And that is why TikTok's not pushing it out. Now, before I share with you exactly what length you should be creating your content, what format you should be creating your content in, and how to turn your viewers into followers on TikTok, I need to make sure that you understand the opportunity right now. It is easier to grow on TikTok than it ever has been before because so many people are on TikTok. I mean, I've been teaching people how to grow on TikTok for like the last four years. And back then, when I would tell somebody that I did work on TikTok, guess what they'd say? They'd be like, what is TikTok? That's not the case anymore. Everybody's on TikTok now. Your grandma's on TikTok. Your niece might be on TikTok. Your friend might be on TikTok, even your parents might be on TikTok or whatever different situation you're in. I bet 
that you know, other people that are on TikTok that you wouldn't think would actually be on TikTok. So now's a huge opportunity for you to be able to reach anybody on TikTok. On top of that, TikTok is paying creators thousands of dollars to tens of thousands of dollars, and you do not need that many followers in order to get paid by TikTok. You just need a certain amount of them, and you need to be uploading content over 60 seconds old. This is a huge opportunity, and TikTok is about to eat away at YouTube, so you need to make sure that you're taking this seriously because people that get in on this early are gonna make a lot of money on TikTok. Now, when it comes to understanding why TikTok didn't actually push out your piece of content, there's only three reasons. First, there wasn't actually an audience for the piece of content that you created, which means if you go type in the hook of your piece of content, I bet that you won't see many other posts that have done well under that. And especially if you filter for this month and most likely, you're gonna see no posts that got over 10,000 likes. If that's the case, that's a warning sign that I wouldn't create content on that topic. The second reason is gonna be because you messed up the actual length of your piece of content. Ideally, what you should be doing is you should be doing that search before you post so that you don't waste time creating content that nobody cares about and you need to make sure that you're paying attention to what length those other posts are and remember this is going to change even within your niche if you're a fitness creator and i'm going to use fitness as an example because it literally applies to every niche if you're a fitness creator and you make a post about how to get six pack abs it might have to be 10 seconds long but you can make a video about how to get a bigger back and it might have to be a minute long it's going to be based off of the length of the content that tiktok is pushing out and the way you're going to be able to see this is by doing a search for that filtering, seeing the popular posts and seeing how long they are because TikTok is not only classifying whether or not they have an audience for your piece of content based off of the topic, but also based off of the length. And the only other reason that TikTok wouldn't push out your content is because you didn't get 70% of people to still watch the video after the first three seconds. And that's simply because you didn't add a good hook into the piece of content and your competitors had a better hook, which left people on TikTok for a longer period of time watching their content. And that's why TikTok continues to push it out. And this brings me to the last most important part of this video if you're trying to get more followers on TikTok. And that is that you need to have a call to action in your content and it needs to be in one of two places. Either one, it needs to be at the end of your video in the last three seconds, or it needs to be right after the hook of your video. If you see what I did on this piece of content, I put it right after the first dopamine hit that I gave you. I had a really good hook. I gave you a really good reference, one thing that I promised on in my hook, and I started to foreshadow what was going to be coming later on in the video. And then right then and there, I put a call to action because at that point you were already hooked in, got a little bit of value so I could ask for that call to action and then immediately get right back into delivering value and that is why you probably subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now, at this point, there's only a few reasons that you're not growing on TikTok. Either one, you don't know what you should be posting or two, you don't actually know how to improve your content and I wanna solve that for you. In fact, I wanna make growing on TikTok easy for you the same way I did for this creator that gained 200,000 followers and this creator that gained over 300,000 followers and the way that I'm gonna do this is by telling telling you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use. I'm even gonna critique your content to guarantee you to get more followers on TikTok in the next 30 days. Because at the end of the day, you might have a coach to help you with school. You might have a coach to help you with your career. You might even have a coach to help you with life or with sports. And you need the same exact thing for social media because why do you wanna to continue to waste your time? You already know that growing on TikTok is important to you or making money on TikTok is important to you. So why not make that as easy as humanly possible by having me help? If that sounds interesting, and you want to grow quicker on TikTok, well, please keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on TikTok and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last for forever. And the only two things holding you back from getting the followers that you deserve right now on TikTok and the followers that you want is one, you haven't implemented the steps that I share with you in this video to help you get more followers. And two, you haven't gotten into my TikTok mentorship program yet where I literally am going to guarantee that I help you get more followers in the next 30 days or you get your money back zero questions asked. And the way that this works is I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags to use to guarantee that you get more followers in the next 30 days. If that sounds interesting, and then please go to the link in the description below and get signed up right now. The average person that's gone through this program has gained over 50,000 followers and nobody has ever gone through it and gained less than 6,500 followers if they implemented everything that I share with them. And since you're still watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you're above average. So the odds of you gaining over 50,000 followers is probably quite high. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is gonna help you get more results faster and easier. If you're struggling right now to grow on TikTok, you need to get into this because every single day that you wait, it's 
it's only going to get harder to grow. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more followers on TikTok or you're going to get your money back. In fact, this creator just went through this program and gained over 10 million followers. This creator over 14 million and this creator over 16 million. And I want you to be my next success story. So please stop procrastinating, invest in yourself now and get the TikTok followers that ultimately you deserve. Or I strongly suggest you check out the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.